G'day. Today, I'm going to mod or upgrade my Ohio Superboard 2 by replacing the original Ohio Superboard Model 2 Rev B uh, SYN 600, the SYN 600 monitor ROM with the SEGMON, the CEG MON ROM. And for that, I'm going to use a EP ROM, which is an electrically erasable programmable ROM. That's a mouthful, but it makes life easy. I don't need UV light or any special tools because I can just use a cheap EEPROM programmer off eBay and I can erase it electrically and reprogram it if I need to. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the EEPROM, the electrically erasable EEPROM, put it into our programmer and make sure that we've got it incorrectly. Okay, okay there we go. It's in. We're going to lock that in place. Okay, and I'm using uh, Windows and the utility they recommended for the program, which I purchased on eBay. I've loaded the image of the Segmon into the programmer, and now I've selected the device, and I'm now going to flash it by going to device and program. Okay, this is going to take a while. And what we're going to do, um, we're not actually going to cut any tracks on the superboard. I'm actually just going to bend pin 21, which is right enabled and connected directly to five volts. I'm going to take the output enable, which is pin 20, and just connect that to ground. And the chip enable, which is pin 18, I'm going to connect that to pin three of U18 on the Ohio superboard just with a jumper. Uh, the reason the right enable is connected to five volts is so the machine doesn't write to the EEPROM and the right enable um, connected to five volts will stop that from being writable. And the output enable is connected to the ground. Okay, what we're gonna do is get that out. We're gonna bend those pins up and get it in the socket and see if it actually boots. Okay, it's certainly not pretty, but we've bent the three pins out of the way. We've inserted the electrically erasable um, PROM in, and I've just uh, taken five volts, a ground signal, and then on pin 18, we're just uh, using a jumper in front of the chip here. So instead of using pin three, I believe now we're using pin four on this chip and let's power it up and let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna hit break. And there we go. It actually boots up. Isn't that bloody marvelous? So we're just going to do that. At the moment, it's correct. I only have two rows of RAM installed on the board. And there we go. Let's see, can we use the robot key? Oh, look at that, we can actually Backspace, isn't that amazing by using the rub out key? So we no longer have to use shift zero, which uh, left an underscore to indicate that the character had been erased. It actually does a true erase, which is really, really brilliant. That is really fantastic. Okay, I'm going to experiment with this uh, upgrade, which looks really interesting. Okay, not pretty, but it means I haven't had to cut any tracks uh, for the time being. Um, I might try and keep the board stock, or if I find that this ROM's useful, which was a very common upgrade or mod at the time, I may actually cut some tracks and just clean it up a little bit. But for now, we'll just leave it jumpered. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.